let's dive into basic microphone theory. So before we talk about the theory, let's get clear on what a microphone is exactly. So a microphone, as defined by Oxford at least, is an instrument for converting sound waves into electrical energy. Okay, so what we're talking about here when we're talking about sound waves is basically a vib the vibration of air molecules in space. So we can't see this happening, but it's happening anytime that there is some sound source, like my voice right now, for example, is emanating air molecules or emanating uh, vibration of sound via these air molecules. And one thing to know about this is that when we have different pitches, so something very low versus something very high, the air molecules are vibrating slower with the lower pitch and faster with the higher pitch. This is referred to as hertz or cycles per second. So when we say that something is 100 hertz, it means that the air molecules are vibrating uh, at 100 times or a rate of 100 times per second. The range of human hearing, this will become relevant later on, is generally described as a uh, range from 20 hertz, so that's kind of like the sub-bass low, low frequencies that we can feel more than hear, up to 20,000 hertz or 20k, 20 kilohertz, which is the, the air that actually most human ears cannot hear. Um, some young ears might, uh, as we get older, we start to lose high frequency hearing. Um, but uh, generally speaking, you'll hear 20, 20 to 20 K mentioned all the time. Now, these microphones are responding to that vibration of air molecules and transducing or converting that acoustic energy into an electrical signal. All right. The deal is, though, that not all microphones are created equal. So we all know this. If this, were the, if this weren't the case, then there would only be one microphone that, that existed. Um, so let's talk about some important microphone considerations, something that sets them apart from each other. One item is the polar or pickup pattern. Another item is the frequency response. Uh, a third item is just what type of microphone it is. So there are several different types of microphones. The three most common that you'll run into in recording and in studio settings are dynamics, ribbons, and condensers. So these items are all things that we are going to talk about in the upcoming minutes. So let's dive right in to starting with polar or pickup patterns. So a polar pattern is a description of how a microphone responds to sound in a three-dimensional space. So uh, some microphones pick up all around them, kind of 360 degrees. Others have different patterns and reject sound at certain uh, angles of, of incidence or angles that you're approaching the microphone. Um, some mics have a fixed polar pattern only one polar pattern that is, and others have selectable polar patterns. So multiple polar patterns and you can decide which polar pattern you want depending on the situation and the result that you want. So for those of us who are, are visual folks, let me uh, pull these up. So these are two-dimensional, of course, diagrams of what we experience in a three-dimensional space with microphones. And think of this as looking at kind of a bird's eye view from above the microphone. Zero degrees on these diagrams represents the front of the microphone. 180 would represent the rear of the microphone. 90 and 270 would be the sides of the microphone. So the black, kind of the dark black line is what represents the level of signal that the microphone picks up at all of these different angles. So if we look at the first polar pattern here, omnidirectional, what we see is a solid line all the way around it. And what that means is that in theory, an omnidirectional microphone is going to pick up equally from all directions, as the name implies. The next microphone type that's listed, listed here, or the polar pattern rather, is bidirectional or figure eight is another uh, term that you'll hear used for that. And you can see where the term figure eight comes from as it, it looks like a, an eight there in the, the diagram. And what this polar pattern does is it picks up equally from the front and the rear of the microphone, but rejects from the sides. We're gonna hear an audio example of this in a moment if this is at all confusing. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, and the next one or the third one that I wanna mention here is cardioid. 
And so this, uh, you can see it's kind of an upside down heart shape. And that's where the name comes from on this one. And what we have with the cardioid polar pattern is that the front of the microphone is where it picks up kind of at full, full level. And then as we start to move around to the sides of the microphone, you can see that we slowly reduce the amount of level that's getting picked up until we get to the rear of the microphone where we have a, a real null point. So a, a almost full attenuation there. And these three types are the most common polar patterns that you'll see. There are a plethora of others that kind of are, fall in between the cracks of these. Um, but these three are, are the, most in, uh, the most common.